Article number 10. Move that the town transfer from capital stabilization $404,359 for capital expenses associated with the capital equipment for town departments to include master plan upgrade, computer upgrades, heating system upgrade, firearms equipment, ballistic vests, furniture for public safety, two police cruisers, two, I'm sorry, air packs, carpeting and painting, John Deere loader, staff vehicle, road paving, levy fee free board survey, interior painting of the library, shelving and archival storage library, informational technology, West Library steps. The select board has recommended four, four, and one abstention. Capital planning has recommended three, zero, zero. The finance committee has recommended uh, 401 with the exception of three exceptions. The John Deere loader under DPW, 341 against, one absentee. Staff vehicle, none in favor, four against, one absentee. Road paving, DPW, zero in favor, four against, and one uh, abstention. I'm sorry, one absenteeism. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Selectman West, could you speak to the article for us, please? This is a two-thirds majority. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, it's a pretty extensive list. Uh, a lot of, some of these items were on the capital plan. A lot of these items were in operating budgets and through the balancing of the budget, we decided to take them out and move them into this capital article. Um, obviously, uh, there's a lot of upgrades for public safety. We had some computer systems and some systems over there that had passed their useful, useful life and needed to be replaced. So you see those here. And um, they're pretty self-explanatory. I guess the questionable ones are the John Deere loader. Um, the John Deere loader is currently not working. Um, it is on the capital schedule. And when the DPW staff priced out that new loader, it was, I believe, $212,000. So seeing how the only problem they were having with the loader was a head gasket, they decided that it'd be more prudent to get a price on having a rebuilt motor put into that loader and continue to use the one they have rather than spend $212,000 for a new one. Um, so that's, that's why that loader is there with that price tag. Um, the road paving that the finance committee did not vote in favor of was taken out of the DPW operating budget. Um, so that's kind of self-explanatory, I would think. Um, and then the staff vehicle, um, the, the request was higher in the capital committee, set it at $6,000. There are a lot of towns around us that are green communities, and we are not a green community, thankfully. It allows us to potentially buy, use vehicles from green communities at a favorable price, and that's what we plan on doing there for $6,000. I would be happy to answer any questions anybody had about a specific item. Edwin. Edwin Matusko, 116 Stockbridge. What is a levy free board survey? Okay, um, I don't know if you happened to see our meeting last week. We had a presentation. Um, after what happened to the levy slash dike a few years ago, the select board decided that it was time to have the entire length of the levy um, basically looked at and studied so that we could potentially see if there's a weakness or other problems coming down the road. We did that, they came back, and this is the next step. This would have uh, engineers going out there taking borings um, currently, 
seeing how that levee was built back in the 1930s, there's not a whole lot of data on exactly how it was made and what it was made of. This freeboard study would be part of the process um, of analysis of exactly what the levee is comprised of and its true strength. So it's, it's, it's what, phase two, David, of four? Well, phase one of three. We've already started the process. Thank you. Any further discussion? Franco Quadro, 147 East Street. Uh, Mr. Moderator, I would like to see us vote on each of these line items separately rather than as a block. A amend amendment has been proposed that we vote on them individually. Is there a second? Been motioned and seconded. Procedurally, we're not voting on the article. We're voting on whether or not the article is addressed individually or if we will vote on these with a lump sum. This is a simple majority. All in favor of voting on the articles individually, I'm sorry, on the line items individually, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion fails. Any further discussion regarding the original motion? Just to state that name, if please. Shell Horowitz, 16 Barstow Lane. Thank you. Um, if there were a motion on the floor to separate a particular item out that somebody wanted special consideration for, I would support that, but not to take each one individually. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'll call for a vote. Again, this is a two-thirds majority. All in favor of the original motion, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? One opposed. And motion number two is a simple majority. That's why it was broken out. That one passed by two thirds. Uh, that article passed by two thirds with one opposed. Motion number two. Move that the town transfer $45,000 from the wastewater reserves and transfer $87,000 from the water reserves for capital expenses associated with the capital equipment for the town departments. The capital purchases are as follows. Vehicle for wastewater, waste uh, water master plan update and valve replacement program. Is there a motion? Is there a second? second. Motion and second. Selectman West, if you could speak to the article, please. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, these three items, uh, wastewater vehicle is a vehicle for the wastewater department. It would be replacing a 2000 F-150 that has 104,500 miles on it. That would be using wastewater funds to purchase that vehicle. Um, the water master plan, the last time we had it done was in 2003, so it's now 11 years old. So uh, we have this scheduled to be updated at this time. This is gonna help us with future capital developments within the water infrastructure. And one of those items that we are going to start to, to take on is a, a valve replacement program, and that's what the third item is for. Um, it's absolutely imperative that we start to improve the uh, water infrastructure and the wastewater infrastructure in this town. So this is one program that we are starting. Um, the water. Master plan and water valve replacement would be using water funds. Wastewater would be, vehicle would use wastewater funds.
the select board uh, supported that 5-0, and the finance committee supported it 5-0-1. Any further discussions? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Article number 11. Move that the town appropriate $880,000 to pay the cost of engineering, permitting, construction, and other costs associated with the rehabilitation of wastewater pump stations one and four for the sewer division, including without limitation all costs thereof as defined in section one of chapter 29C of general laws as most recently amended by statute of 1998, chapter 78 and that to meet this appropriation transfer $225,000 from the sewer impact fund account and further that the treasurer with the approval of the select board is authorized to borrow $655,000 and issue bonds or notes therefore under chapter 44 section 71 and or chapter 29C of the general laws as most recently amended by statute in 1998 chapter 78, that such bonds or notes shall be general obligations of the town unless the treasurer, with the approval of the select board, determines they should be issued as limited obligations and may be secured by local system revenues as defined in section one of chapter 29C as most recently amended by statute 1998, chapter 78, and that the sewer commission is authorized to expend all funds available for the project and to take any action, I'm sorry. Sewer, wastewater, okay. And is authorized to expend all funds available for the project and to take any action necessary to carry out the project. Again, this is a two thirds majority. Selectman West. Is there a motion? Is it seconded? Selectman West. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, point of order, if everybody's wondering, no, I did not draw the short straw here tonight. I happen to be uh, the chair of the Capital Committee, so that's why I'm speaking to these Capital Articles. Um, some of you may notice that sewer pump stations one and four, we allocated some uh, <clears throat> money last fall for that project. When the bids came in, they were significantly higher than the money we had raised last fall. That's why we are back here tonight raising the balance of those funds. You'll also notice in the motion that the moderator just read, we are using $225,000 um, from our sewer impact fee, and we've been accumulating that money since we passed that impact fee um, a few years ago. So that will be uh, the money needed to replace pump stations one and four. And for everybody's information, that's the main one on the end of Middle Street. And that's the pump station down here where West Street and Bay Road meet. Um, it has strategically been um, put in this time frame. Uh, I believe it was two year, last year that the debt came off of the books at the wastewater department. There's currently no debt there. And when we put this on this capital schedule uh, years ago, we planned to do it that way so that there would be no impact to the sewer rates. Um, we waited for the debt to come off and that's why we're doing the project now. The water tank altitude valve this is a new valve that we're gonna put in to the water tanks. It'll help us regulate the flow within the tanks. Um, a major reason for doing it is because we believe, possibly, maybe, not scientific, but we think it'll help with any coliform problems down the road. It's one of the things that DEP has said 
that we need to do if we ever want to get off chlorination. It is the intent of the water commissioners to do that, to get off of chlorination. So this is one step uh, towards that goal. And once again, that would be spent through water receipts. That actually is the second motion that we'll be talking about. We're talking about the wastewater to start oh, with. Sorry. No, it's okay. I just want to be clear. Any further discussion regarding the wastewater? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Move that the town appropriate $60,000 to pay for the cost of engineering, permitting, construction, and all of the costs associated with the rehabilitation of the water tank attitude valve for the water di division, including without limitation all costs thereof as defined in section one of chapter 29C of the general laws as mostly amended by statute 1998, chapter 78. To meet with the appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the select board, is authorized to borrow $60,000 and issue bonds or notes, therefore, under Chapter 44, Section 8, 7C, and or Chapter 29C of the General Laws, as most recently amended by Statute 1998, Chapter 78. That such bonds or notes shall be general obligations of the town unless the treasurer, with the approval of the select board, determines that, there should, that, that they should be issued as limited obligations and may be secured by local system revenues as defined by chapter one, um, by section one of chapter 29C, most recently amended by statute 1998, chapter 78. That the water commission is authorized to expend all funds available for the project and to take any other actions necessary to carry out the project. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Second. Motion and seconded. Uh, Selectman West would you like to repeat? Yeah, sure. Okay. Like I uh, stated, um, this is something that DEP said we need to do in order to get off chlorination in the future. It'll be a great help to the water department to know exactly where the um, water levels are in the two water tanks. And we believe that with this valve, with the mixing valves, with the new testing station, it'll be a huge step forward uh, to us getting off of chlorination. Any further discussion? Finance Committee supported this. However, we uh, supported it to come out of water reserves. Um, you may want to ex explain this then. Uh, I think that we're voting on having it borrowed and there are expenses of borrowing. It's only $60,000 and we have over 900,000 in water reserves. So our vote was to approve it from water reserves. Um, unless there's another explanation. Thank you. So you disagreed with the motion on the funding? Um, I guess that's the question of why are we... Why do you have a different, do you have the same thing or do you not have a different one? Do you have a, the same motion? You have the same motion. It's borrowing. So you have the same motion? Yes. Okay, and you... So we did not support it to be borrowed. Okay. Forgive my clarity. Clarifying our recommendation. Okay. And the recommendation is that it be expended and taken out of water expenses and not borrowed. Water, reserve, water receipts, water, water, reserve. water reserves, and not borrowed. Okay, is anybody available to speak to that? I would support that. <laughs> do we need an amendment for that? Okay, so somebody needs to write that up. David, bear with the town administrator. He'll write up an amendment for that. So what are we doing right now? Instead of borrowing the money, there's an amendment being made that it be taken out of water reserves. That's correct. Out of water reserves. Thank you. Amendment is being drafted as we speak.
While we're taking a minute here. Hey, Dennis, how's those sales going? <laughs> Again, the Hadley Drama Club proudly presents the importance of being earnest. It'll be showing this weekend. The Drama will, Club will be putting on a play. It's going to be May 2nd through May 4th at Hopkins Academy. Cafetorium, Fridays, uh, May 2nd show will be at 7 o'clock at night. Saturday will be, May 3rd will be at 7 o'clock at night. And Sunday, the matinee is at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's all held here at the cafetorium. Tickets are available. Um, children are $4. Seniors are $6. Students are $6 and $10 for adults. Come out and support the kids. If I could have your attention while we're writing up this amendment, um, I would be remiss if I didn't stand here and take all the credit for the Capital Committee. I would like to acknowledge the people that sit down and do this hard work with me. Frank from the Finance Committee is a member. Uh, Linda Dunleavy from the School Department. Um, Mr. Grader from the Assessor's Office. Connie Mitch, the Treasurer, sits in on those meetings. David Nixon's there, and then um, Paul McCresky is from the general public. He's also on the committee. I would like to thank them for their time and their due diligence. Seems like a very apropos time to be saying thank you to some of the people. Um, our own very own marathon runner, Mr. Jeffrey Mish, who set the auditorium up for us today. Thank you, Mr. Mish. Thank you to the school for taking care of us. We really appreciate it. We know it was a big task. We very much appreciate Chapter Channel 5 being with us uh, so that they could tape this to the people who weren't able to make it uh, here tonight. And to the Mother's Club, who uh, provides us with wondrous things each and every time when we have an event like that. If you could join me in a round of applause for them. Thank you. Simple majority. Yes. Would you like to review it before we say it? We're just going to. Oh, okay. Amendment has been offered. Move that the town appropriate sixty thousand dollars to pay the cost of engineering, permitting, and construction, and all other costs associated with the rehabilitation of the water tank altitude valve for the water division. That to meet the appropriation, the town transfer $60,000 from the water reserves. That is the motion that we have in front of us. This is a simple majority. All those, is, it's motion, is there a second? Motion and seconded. 
Okay? All, all those in favor of the amendment, simply raise your card so that we can be counted. Opposed? Okay, the amendment has been passed. We will now vote on the article, motion two of that article. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Not nice plan. 